this is Ubuntu for phone. Um, what we're showing here is our welcome screen. It's just a simple way of representing data about the device and how it's being used. So if you double tap with that, it just shows you the data usage, uh, how many tweets you've done. What you can see is there's no hardware controls. Everything is done from the four edges of the device. So here we have our system indicators, but you can also access the settings very quickly from here. Things like sound, oops, sorry, battery, just different things. And then just swipe away. The left, end, left edge brings in our application launcher. So here you can just launch a, an application. So that's all to our contacts application. Comes up, there we go. Um, if I'm here, if I go to the right edge of the device, it brings in the application I was in most recently. But then if I do a longer swipe, I go into this carousel of all the open applications and then I can just tap on one and that opens it. Um, if I'm in an application and I want to look looking at a photo, I want to share it, then I just use the bottom edge, just swipe that up and then I, the share option is there. Um, if I go back here, this takes us to our home app scope. This is where all the apps on the device are shown. So you've got your open apps here, all the apps on the device and we can also show here apps that are available in our app store. Um, if I go back up here, we also have a like a music scope. So this is where we have local content and we can also integrate online content and show that here so a user can quickly and easily find all the music on the device. Um, and when we do a search, I tap up there, the search is done both on the device and on, on the uh, online sources as well. Uh, let me just swipe the keyboard away. Um, in terms of applications, do you want me to run through the, the op options? So, so we have three ways developers can develop applications. There's a native SDK that uses C++ and Qt. Um, we also offer HTML5 apps and we offer the same system APIs as where possible for both HTML and native so that developers have full access to the system of the device. Um, and then the final thing we support is what's now known as Cordoba. It used to be called PhoneGap. It's a, a, a hybrid app environment that uses HTML5, CSS and JavaScript and packages up apps to run here. So that's the three way developers can develop apps. Um, yeah, and that's a quick guide to Ubuntu. I hope you like it.